guys, I know I haven't been, um, filming lately, um, except for text, scary text message story where I'm using the voice and screen recorder thing, which I haven't posted in three days, or is it four, I don't know. But today, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be reading The Greatest Unsolved Mystery of the Missing Marjorie West. So, let's get, get, get started. I'm going to read the caption. The search for a girl who vanished in the Pennsylvania woods in 1938 captivated people across the U.S. Some are still looking on a damp the Thursday morning in May 1938. Hundreds of workers from western Pennsylvania oil fields given the day off to look for a missing girl walked through the allergeny I have no idea what that what bless you Junior I don't know why there's a girl getting a big name Junior for first at arm's length they Traversed the tangled underbrush alongside police with bloodhounds. Veterans of the First World War, corn planter, Indians, coal miners, and assorted others who had responded to the local mayor's call for a thousand volunteers. They killed rattlesnakes and were careful not to drop a foot down into one of the hundreds of oil wells dug during the area's petroleum boom in the nine in the eighteen seventies. So guys I'm gonna give you a heads up. Um my na name for my YouTube um it is not what I normally go by. Some people have been calling me that um, my friends have because I've told them the truth. Alexandria Pike is my biological name. Heidi Woodcock is my adopted name. But I'm going to be changing my name back to Alexandria Pike soon. But we have to have money for to do it first. Which I thought they were 200 but they're less than that. So yeah. Let's continue. But by night fall the haggard sleep warped faces of so scars of scars of men as the Bradford era, era newspaper described them told on lookers on lookers the grim truth another day pa had passed without finding a little wet haired four year old she was four? Aww, that's sad. If if I ever had kids and they were missing, I would be so upset. Marjorie West. I need to brush my hair. It's all knotted. 80 years ago, Ma Marjorie vanished while at the a Mother's Day picnic in the forest with her family. To this day, she is the subject of one of the oldest solved cases recorded, recorded by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Her search was one of the largest for a child since the Lindbergh baby kidnapping six years earlier. I think I've heard of that one. Residents of Western Pennsylvania and Marjorie's surviving relatives still hold out hope she's alive. If she is, she may yet celebrate her 85th birthday next month. I think this is from last year. No, it's from 2018. They posted this in 2018. Missing child. And this is the newspaper article, so I'm going to read that. Object of a frenzied 
searched by 500 men in a out yeah that same word I don't know how to pronounce National Forest near Kane Pennsylvania was four year old Marjorie West above who disappeared while on an outing with her family or oil workers from Clint Ike joined CCC Capo members and legionaries or legionaries and combing the brush covered hills in an effort to find the child daughter of Mr. and Mrs. M. M. West of Bradford, Pennsylvania. So they're both names start with M. She could still be living, said Jack Covert, Marjorie's cousin, in an interview shortly before he died in March. Oh, that's sad. But she's probably not around here. Marjorie was lost for decades, decades before the nas- nationwide stranger danger panic over kidnappings set off when the son of eventual America's most wanted host John Welsh disappeared from a Florida mall in 1981. I'm glad I was not born because I went to Florida. Um, I would travel to Florida my whole life, and I would go to stores. After the much publicized Adam Walsh abduction, I think I've heard of that one too. Parents became more fearful about where their children went, and who they were with, and government agency instituted safety programs, including taking fingerprints of kids to keep on file. More recently, the hit Netflix series Stranger Things about a fictional 12-year-old named Will Byers who is snatched into another dimension prompted renewed discussion about the idyllic times when children roamed free and parents rarely worried. But that's you. Stop throwing your food at me. Um, If you guys haven't seen Stranger Things... I'm not going to spoil it. You can find it on Netflix. Um, It's a really, really good show. And they're saying possibly next year or 2004, there's going to be a last season. That's the fifth season. And a New York Times op ed. And a North World Stranger Things is a reminder of a kind of unstructured childhood wondering that now seems less possible. I just ruled. Okay. This is a long ass story. But the Marjorie West case reminds us the decades before mass media coverage of child kidnappings. There were hazards that terrified parents, the dangerous depression era vagrants, illicit adoption rings, don't know, were just different. How free children should be to roam, and how conscious parents should be about young children's activity is a debate that still rages today. <laughs> I'm gonna just choke the own spit. On Sunday, eight May eighth, nineteen thirty eight, two days before my birthday, but I wasn't even born then. The West family father Shirley, mother Cecilia, and children Dorothea eleven, Alan seven, and Marjorie attended church and Bradford. A city a small city ninety minutes south of Buffalo, New York, and 90 minutes east of, I think, Titusville? Yeah, Titusville sounds more correct. Pennsylvania, the site of the country's first oil boom in 1959. I think we'll talk about explosions. Bradford enjoyed its own rush for liquid Gold a dozen years later, providing a 
study, steady living for families like the West. Don't shout on me now. Shirley was in assistant engineer at Kendall Refining. After church, the Wests drove 13 miles along Highway 219 to a clearing in the Allegheny or whatever forest that was popular with hunters and fishermen. They joined friends, family friends, Mr. and Mrs. Lloyd Ackerland. Around 3 p.m., Cecilia headed to the road to west in the car. Her husband prepared to to tra go trout fishing in the stream with Lloyd. The girls, Dorothea and Marjorie, wanted to pick wildflowers. Shirley warned them to watch for water snakes behind the boulder nearby. Why is my hair just like that? Okay. The girls gathered a bouquet of vi vi violets. Dorothea headed to the car to deliver them to the their mother. When she turned around, her sister was gone. I'm shutting. I'm shutting. <laughs> Excuse me. The family drove to the nearest phone seven miles away to contact the police. My laptop's almost dead. Holy shit. Are you judging? It was just on 1%. I don't know why I just yelled that. Miles away to contact police in the town of Kane. What, what followed was a grueling search that spent months and saw more than 3,000 local people hunting for Marjorie with countless others locked into the natural N national newspaper coverage. This is a long ass story. When police couldn't find Marjorie that Sunday afternoon, tw 200 men joined in, including the Citizen Conservation Corps and the Moose and Elks Lodges. As darkness fell, oil men brought headlamps. All available, all available flashlights in the city were pressed into service, noted the era. The effort slowed when a cold wind fell at 1 a.m. Ow. Okay. On Monday, the search party grew to 500. They waded through the stream and stood 25 yards apart in a mile-long line. Ultimately combing four square miles, police interviewed motorists across an area spanning 300 square miles. By Tuesday, May 10th, my birthday, officially. Police brought bloodhounds from New York State that even that evening they found clues. But accounts vary. Two newspapers articles say the dogs followed Marjorie's trail half a mile up a mountain to a cabin with its door nailed shut. Nothing of interest was found inside other media accounts, as well as those from Marjorie's descendants. An online blog and discussion threads say the dogs followed Marjorie's scent to the road alongside.
sorry, I was in a seizure, and I hate it. Um, I think I that one. This is a long ass paragraph. Okay. Mm. I'll probably read these last ones. These last paragraphs. The children found the cross. The searchers found the crushed bouquet of violets picked for her mother for Mother's Day, lying on the ground not far from the walk, close to where the flowers were, were pulled. Lord Catherine, the daughter of Marjorie's cousin, Joyce, on her genealogy blog in 2006, many people believed in 1938 as they do not do now that Marjorie was picked up at the road. Witnesses p told police of three cars that had passed through the area around 3 p.m. The drivers of two hay were identified by Tuesday night. The third home witnesses said was a man was seen fleeing in his play mouth s sedan so fast an oncoming motorist told police he had to pull into a ditch. On Wednesday afternoon, Bradford's mayor, Hugh Ryan, issued his plea for 1,000 volunteers for the next day's search. He got 2,500. So if you guys like content like this, please hit the subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and smash the thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, guys, um, for Christmas, I can't go live on my laptop to show you what I got, so I'm going to just make another video like this to show you my presents. And if you guys don't aren't following me on TikTok, go over there, look up Alexandria Pike, 447, I think? Hold on. And follow there. Ooh, I got two thousand, four thousand two hundred fifty. I need fifty more to to go to three hundred. Okay, so that's my account. That's the profile is me with me and my mom. I'll just hold it up for like two minutes. Oh, a minute and something so you guys can see it screenshot it or whatever if you guys didn't get it then I'll um send if you, you just tell me and I'll send you it um, on the comments so and on Christmas I'm gonna be filming like this to show you what I got I'm going to be with my biological mom, living with her, because I am here right now. Um, so, I'm going to hang here for Christmas. And instead of having that tutor, because he's a total creep, everyone thinks it's suspicious that a 60 or older year old man, thinking I was 16, invites me to go to his house. So, yeah, that's messed up. So I told, called my adopted mom today, hey, tell, cancel the tutor. And she said, okay, I will. Because it's sketchy. So, yeah. So I'm going to be doing adult education. I'm going to be living with my biological mother. Um, so, yeah. You'll see mo probably a couple of videos like this if... There's no one around, so I'll see you in the next video. I hope you like content like this. Please, if you like content like this, please hit the subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and smash the thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!